This app is going to allow user input with a date picker plus two steppers, which combined will allow the user to say when they want to wake up, how much sleep they usually like, and how much coffee they drink every day. And so we'll start by adding three properties to store the information for those Swift UI views. We'll say at state private var wake up is date dot now like that. Then at state private var sleep amount is 8.0 and at state private var coffee amount is one. Now inside this body property, we're going to place three sets of components wrapped up in a view stack, a V stack, sorry, then a navigation stack. So we'll start with that. Place the default code with this, a navigation stack with a V stack inside. This will say text, when do you want to wake up? With a font of headline. We'll then have a date picker like this saying, uh, please enter a time with its selection bound to dollar wake up. I'm going to make sure we display the components only of hour a minute. You don't care the exact date, of course. And then I'll ask for the labels to be hidden for that date picker. And there's uh, obviously more code to come inside that V stack, like so. so. We've asked for this hour and minute display components. We care about the time someone wants to wake up, not the day, obviously. And with labels hidden, we don't get that extra label for the picker but it's still there for voiceover and similar. Next, we're gonna add a stepper so users can choose roughly how much sleep they want. We'll give this thing an in range of four through 12 and a step of 0.25, so a quarter of hours. We have a range of sensible values here. If we combine that with a formatted method, we can get rid of all those extra zeros and just show eight or 8.5 and similar. And so down this more to come comment, I'm gonna say we have a text of desired amount of sleep, again, font of headline, and then a stepper. We'll do sleep amount dot formatted, oops, formatted, there we go, uh, with hours, in the value of dollar sleep amount, in the range of four through 12, and a step of 0 0.25, so quarter hour steps every single time. Finally, we're gonna add one last stepper and label to handle how much coffee they drink. This time we'll use a range of one through 20 because surely 20 coffees a day is enough for anyone. Inside the V stack, we're gonna say text daily coffee intake. Again, font of headline. Then our final control, that stepper. So stepper, the title of coffee amount, cups, that uh, that'll be bound to the value of coffee amount in the range of one through 20, like so. The final thing we're gonna add is a button to let users calculate the best time they should go to sleep. We could do this with a simple button at the end of our V stack right here, but to spice things up a little bit, we're gonna put a button in the title bar instead. And so, First, we need an actual method to call. Uh, so we're gonna make a new method below our viewbody down here called func calculate bedtime, like that. And now we'll use the toolbar modifier to add a button to that navigation bar. So we'll say here, uh, we've got a toolbar with button calculate, action of calculate bedtime. And while we're here, we're also gonna add a, oh, I put, put that in the wrong thing, sorry, my mistake. I should be in the V stack, not the navigation stack. It should be uh, there. Uh, we'll also add a navigation title to the top bar here, which will be uh, like this, better rest. That's our little view here. As you can see, the button's at the top right corner by default in iOS. Um, it'll automatically move to the top left corner for uh, right to left languages, but that's it. And that's, at this point, our basic UI done. It won't do anything yet because of course we haven't filled in this calculate bedtime method just yet, but at least the UI is good enough for the time being.